Hello right, guys, it's Justin here again. Right, as the title of the video suggests, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to restore all the missing power options um, since uh, Windows 21 H1 and Windows 21 H2 once you've updated Windows. Um, yeah, I noticed this a couple of months back. I just could not change my advanced power settings. So I've done a bit of research and I've come up with a solution. So what you're going to need to do is just type in power and then go to edit power plan. Right, change advanced power settings. So you notice here, um, there's no processor power management and all the other nice settings. I mean, you're very limited to what you can do here. Um, so anyway, so let's get to the, the solution. So basically, um, what you're going to do, I'll post uh, a copy of this link in the description of the video. So you, you just copy that link, open up your browser, and then just enter there. All right. And then you'll note, you just scroll down a bit, and you'll notice there, there are four options here. Add and remove maximum processor frequency, so you're going to open that in a new tab. Add and remove maximum processor state, just going to open that new tab. Add and add processor performance increase threshold. Um, I don't really use that, so if you want to use it, go ahead. Add or remove system cooling policy, just open that in a new tab. And then you scroll down a bit further. All right, and then you're going to see that uh, the further settings over here. So remove USB selective setting, set, uh, suspend setting. Just open in a new tab. Remove a link state power management. Open in a new tab. Add or remove wireless adapter settings. Open in a new tab. Right, so then what we're going to do is preemptively, we're going to open up com uh, command prompt, so it's Windows key and R, just type in CND, boom, so that's open. Right, so where's, okay, so now we go into that first tab that you opened, how to add or remove maximum processor frequency. So you scroll down until you find option one, and then you're going to just copy this link over here, Copy and then paste it in command prompt, enter. Okay, then we're gonna close this off. And then we're gonna, uh, this one is how to add and remove maximum processor stack. So what we're gonna do here is just copy this. Option, and option one, just copy that. Go to command prompt, enter. Then close this off and then how to add or remove system cooling policy and then again under option one just copy this first code here and go to command prompt just press cop uh, paste enter I'll go back to windows just close off this window over here remove usb selective uh, suspend setting let's go down option one just copy this code here again Paste, enter, go back to the browser. Okay, and this one is how to add or remove link state power management. Just go down again, option one, copy the code. As you can see, it's very high level stuff, but we're gonna we're gonna get it done, guys. I know we can do it. Anyways, close that off. The last one here is add or remove wireless adapter settings. Just same as last time, just go down to option one. Uh, copy this this over here. Close this off. Right, and then you're just gonna paste it. Enter. You're done. So, anyways, we're gonna go out of command prompt, and we're gonna see what has happened in our power options. So, just type in power again. Edit power plan. Change advanced power settings. And will you look at that? We have all those lovely options back again. So the options we've added here is wireless adapter settings. Okay, and now you have the ability to set it to maximum performance. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's normally set to medium power savings, so now you can set it to maximum performance. Uh, I suggest setting it to maximum performance on both. USB settings. All right, I set it to disabled. 
this it's a power stay feature if you if you're looking to get maximum gaming performance you don't want anything on a power saver feature pci express link state power management off and off yet again we don't want any power savings processor management i set it to, to my maximum frequency system cooling policy we set it to active because we want the fans to go on when the when things overheat maximum processor state 100 percent 100 percent all right so we have restored almost everything so far so go back into your browser so open up a new tab and then type in command prompt to show minimum processor state so add or remove minimum process state from power options in windows yet again go down option one just copy this code over here all right and then open command prompt just paste it over there enter done right sorry i do apologize uh those options i had to search a little bit extra to find the minimum processor state because it's not listed on those on those options it's on the page but you have to look for it again that's why i had to paste it in a bit later so just to show you that it's been affected just type in power again edit power plan change advanced settings now you'll see processor power management you've got maximum processor frequency got minimum processor state but system cooling and then we've got the maximum state there as well all right so that is how you restore uh, your power plan options boom all right guys and because i'm such a nice guy i'm going to give you a last little tip so what you're going to do is you're going to open up your start menu you're going to go on intel graphics command center so um if you like me and you don't have a max switch uh, uh, setting on your graphics card or you don't have advanced op optimus uh, your graphics when you're playing a game your graphics card obviously sends signal to your integrated graphics um, and that obviously because your integrated graphics are connected to your screen if you don't have a max switch so you don't want any power saving features if you don't have a max switch so open up your intel command center go to system go to power and make sure all these settings are switched off you don't want any power savings on uh via your intel command center so extended uh, extend battery life for gaming switch off panel soft refresh switch off display power savings set off power efficiency set to minus Ex enhance power savings set off because at the end of the day power savings kill your game performance and no none of we want that anyways guys um thanks for watching our video if you enjoyed today's video please leave me a like if you've got any questions please hit me up in the comment section and as always um yeah i'm hungry for as many subscribers as possible so if you enjoyed the content please consider subscribing and i know i've never said this before but it's people like you that make a difference have a good weekend cheers